One young Sixers player had some interesting things to say about Nick Nurse, which actually counteract the narrative out there about him. Also, Daryl Morey back on the troll train. We'll break all of it down here on Philly Take with RB. Perfect. What is going on, everybody? RB here. Welcome into the show. Like always, hit the like button if you enjoy the content. Be sure to subscribe and as always, ring that bell down below. That way you don't miss any of the coverage. Today, we're back grueling through the dry part of the offseason, but we do have some tidbits to get into. And most importantly, a young Sixers player had some things to say about Nick Nurse. And there's been a narrative painted out there about him. And I think some of the things being said are unfair. We'll dive into it deeper and I'll tell you why. Before we do that, I have a question. Let me know down below in the comment section on a scale one to 10. How satisfied are you with this offseason? One to 10. Let me know down below. And before we jump right into all of it, shout out to our partner of today's video, Mint Mobile. Shout out to the partner of today's video, Mint Mobile. If you out there are similar to everyone else in the world who has thought to themselves at one point, why is my wireless bill so high? Then Mint Mobile is for you. Mint Mobile offers premium wireless for as low as $15 per month, and you don't have to sacrifice any coverage, speed, or data. They're built on the nation's largest 5G network and keep costs low because they sell directly to you online, cutting out the retail stores and salespeople. Why should you pay more than you have to for access to the same network? You can go and use that money to treat yourself to a Sixers game or even buy a new jersey. All Mint Mobile plans include unlimited nationwide talk and text, plus lightning fast 5G and free mobile hotspot. They even offer super affordable family plans with as little as two lines and switching to mint is super easy thanks to their digital e-sim cards you can sign up and activate immediately right on your phone from the comfort of your home and if your phone isn't e-sim compatible mint will actually ship you a new sim card free of charge the whole process will only take about 15 minutes and if you get stuck, Mint has a great customer service team to help you through it. So if you are interested in reliable coverage and fast data for a fraction of the cost, go to mintmobile.com slash Philly Take. You can go right down to the description of this video and click the link, or you can scan the QR code on the screen. Go check out Mint Mobile. They have a huge deal going on right now. 50% off their unlimited plan. Check it out down below. All right, man, let's jump into this. So I want to start off with a couple pictures here. Put up with Tyrese Maxey, and look at who it is, trainer Drew Hanlon. They are putting in some work, man. They're getting those skills going, as Drew Hanlon says, micro skills. Does Tyrese Maxey look like he's putting on even more muscle? This guy is swole, man. I like the development, the physique, and really, Tyrese Maxey, I think, is going to take another leap this year. You know he is glued to that gym. You cannot get him out of that. Also, I want to talk about Daryl Morey real quick. Because he is back on the troll train. He was responding to a tweet earlier today from the rights to Ricky Sanchez. And they had said, Daryl, please let us look at the roster. Things are getting dire. And Daryl Morey responded with a troll of his own. We've talked about a lot of Morey trolling this offseason. Obviously, the fan base wants to see this team get better. But Morey went on basketball reference. He screenshotted a picture of the 20, what was this, 2018 roster? or no, 2019 roster, and he posted that as a response. So essentially trolling, saying here's our roster, not giving a lot of intel away. I will say, though, had some uh, some tear-jerk moments here, right? No, I'm just kidding, but Alec Burks, Trey Burke, James Ennis the third, all guys, man, who uh, who did the thing back in the day, man. Back in the day. How will Neto crazy? Daryl Moore's out here on a, on a trolling spree. He's on his... Uh, victory run here, man. He's on his like B ball Paul victory tour, but a Maury victory troll tour. That's what he's out on right now. And who knows what he's doing? Who knows? It's the dry part of the offseason. Hopefully, he goes and makes some moves. But let's dive into what we really need to get into today. And that is a quote from one young Sixers player, and that is Jaden Springer. Here's what Jaden Springer had to say about his coach, Nick Nurse. He says, quote, you really see that he really tries to push his players. He really believes in his players, and he wants to teach. He wants players to learn and develop under him. So you can definitely see that, and that is a great coach to have. Now, multiple players have said things about Nick Nurse weeks ago, right, when they were practicing. Even Jaden Springer was the first guy to say something weeks ago. Remember when he said something along the lines of, you know, we're out here doing these little intricate drills and and they're making adjustments to us while we're going through drills and practices and 
I've never had a coach that really did that before. Tyrese Maxey kind of said the same thing when it came to in-game adjustments. Sure, maybe they didn't mean to throw slights at Doc Rivers or whoever else, but they did, right? Nick Nurse is coming out here. He's very detail-oriented. He's very focused, and he's a very high IQ basketball mind, and you can see the impacts of that showing already. But really, when we take a step back and listen to this, right, this is now two things that Jaden Springer has said about Nick Nurse in a positive light. This is before playing any games. And when it comes down to Doc Rivers, we know that he never wanted to really experiment with young players. And the narrative out there right now about Nick Nurse is that, you know, he got fired from Toronto because he didn't utilize young players. He's not a guy when it comes to, you know, playing young guys where he's really going to favor that. And I just don't think that is 100% true. Maybe there is some truth to it and maybe he could get better. But hey, what do you do, right? If you get fired from a job or you don't do something good on a project or you, you fail at something, right? You learn, you go to the next experience and you take what you have learned and apply it, right? So who's to say that Nick Nurse now with only his second team is not going to do things differently, right? He can get better. It's not like he's always stuck in a rut. And again, I just don't think the narrative out there is 100% true. So, you know, I want to bring up something from when Nick Nurse got fired by the Toronto Raptors and they talked about this for a while, but now it just goes under the radar because now he's the Sixers coach, right? Nick Nurse went to Raptors president Masai Ujiri. Keep in mind, these guys won a championship together. These guys had a great relationship for four or five years. And when he was parting, right after he went in to say goodbye, when he was fired, he said to Masai Ujiri, good luck with those guys. Presumably a reference to the Raptors personnel. There had been a lot of headbutting this past year. And we talked about this. If you have not checked out the collab pod that I put out when I was on vacation with Luca Rosano. Definitely check that out. A lot of good intel, a lot of good little nuggets from, you know, the Raptors relationship from president and basketball ops down to the coach, down to the personnel. Let's not sit here and act like Nick Nurse had everything to work with, right? They keep saying he didn't play young guys. He didn't play young guys. He drove it into the ground. Maybe part of that is true, but Nick Nurse always had his guys ready to go. He's always going to have his guys playing hard. And at the end of the day, there have been a lot of young players that developed under Nick Nurse. Maybe not all of that is him. Sure, it's probably some of the natural tendencies of the players, but it's just unfair, you know, for people to come out here and say like, oh, nobody gets better under Nick Nurse. He is not willing to experiment because we saw a lot of interesting things in the summer league. And here are some of the stats, for example, right? OG Ananobi, experiment number one, right? Nick Nurse was brought in in 2018. OG Ananobi goes from seven points up to 10.6 per game, starts, you know, actually playing games, gets more minutes, starts for the Raptors. The next year, you know, obviously a shortened season and all that, he had uh, 16 points per game, took a huge leap. Then after that, OG Ananobi up to 17 points per game. And then this past year, almost 17 points per game. You see the leap, the progression every year. Obviously, he got better as a defender as well, multi a uh, positional defender as well, right? So OG Ananobi has definitely gotten better under Nick Nurse. Here's a guy like Pascal Siakam, right? He was with the Raptors for two years. Then Nick Nurse comes in. What does he do? He takes a leap from 7.3 points per game up to almost 17, then to 23. And then he becomes an all-star, right? They won a championship together. And then after that, the next year, you know, after winning the championship, they obviously had the bubble and all that. But the Raptors, you know, were still one of the best teams. Nick Nurse won coach of the year. And you don't do that by not experimenting, by not playing young guys and, you know, getting the most out of your team. And that was when Kawhi Leonard left, right? The Raptors have not had a championship team since Kawhi Leonard left. So Nick Nurse has been forced to kind of get tricky with some things. But, you know, I'm not saying he's perfect. However, he has not been absolutely terrible. He has not been on the level of arrogance of Doc Rivers where he just doesn't play anybody at all. Maybe this past year it seemed that way, and maybe he did that this last year because, you know, him and Ujiri were butting heads and they couldn't figure it out personnel-wise. They didn't agree on anything. So maybe he just ran it into the ground a little bit. Here's Fred Van Vliet, right? Fred Van Vliet plays a couple years, comes in 2018. What does he do? Goes up to 11 points per game. Next year, 17.6, almost 20, over 20, almost 20 again. Fred Van Vliet just got $43 million per year. These guys got better under Nick Nurse. I don't care what you say. He had absolutely part in that. 
because he plays a certain style of basketball. He brings that team together. Nick Nurse actually said on JJ Reddick's podcast, and I believe this was last year, I remember the episode, that he aims to get young players paid, right? Obviously, they want to win. He wants to help them develop. But one of the biggest things he said here that we have not heard from other coaches is that he says it is important to coach players towards getting paid. One example he talked about uh, was with Pascal Siakam, but he talked about other guys as well. He says everyone has heard the common coach to win the game, but not everyone has heard the coach to get players paid philosophy. That's kind of a generalization of what he was talking about. He focuses on the Raptors players as individuals and does whatever he can to help them as individual players to only help serve the team. Nurse talks about going from the 13th man to the 6th man when it comes to OG Ananobi. Ananobi went from playing just 20 minutes per game in his rookie year to scoring nearly 20 points per game in his fifth year. So again, guys had developed. I would expect to see the Jaden Springers of the world, maybe even DeAnthony Melton. You could still call him young, right? The Paul Reeds of the world. If Terquavion Smith gets on the roster, I'm not saying that Nick Nurse is going to play all the young guys, but he's obviously going to learn from what happened in Toronto. He's a championship head coach. He's one coach of the year. He is going to give some of these guys opportunity. And the main reason is because the Sixers are limited. We still don't know what's happening with the James Harden deal. But right now you have weapons. We'll have to wait and see what happens, man. But excited to see how Nurse goes about this. All I would say is that he's coming in ready to go. He wants to win another championship. And I think it's a great place for him to be. So give me all your thoughts down below in the comment section. Appreciate everybody for tuning in. Like always, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. With that being said, I will catch you all on the next one. Peace.